Good day guys and welcome back to my channel and hope you're all doing well and great. Well today I'll be showing you exactly how you uh, can downgrade your PC from Windows 11 to Windows 10. That's if you don't have the go back option. But if you have the go back option, I mean that's pretty much easy. Just go back and um, click on go back and uh, that, that's all. But if you don't have the go back option, I think it's uh, the right video for you to downgrade your uh, Windows 11 to to Windows 10 because you have actually exceed the trial um, uh, um, uh, or the maximum date or time for the trial version. So let me jump in my computer and show you exactly how you can do this me very fast and very easy. So hopefully you you will like it and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's um, hit my my computer and show you exactly how you can do this. Okay, I think first you want to do right click on your Windows. So you can see just hold my step and uh, go straight to settings. Click on on settings. So you, you go to system. On that system, you scroll down and uh, you check for the recovery. So as you can see, the go back option I mean you can't do anything here because you have a CD uh, maximum uh, date or time for uh, the trial version. So uh, let's close this and then uh, go straight to your to your browser. I'll be leaving the link on my on my description. Go to my description, click on the link, and uh, this will take you directly to this. Uh, particular page so as you can see it's a uh, direct from uh, my, uh, Microsoft you can download anything from here without uh, you downloading any uh, malware means just direct from uh, from Microsoft so you click on uh, this uh, download tools here so click on on this let's download this straight so uh, when you when you are done with that with download it, that depend on your on your speed your internet speed so you go down to the download right uh, double click and then um, just wait a while just double click on the okay so the window is start uh, okay so this will appear on your on your system so I wait so you're into the just to accept you click on the accept it's a very fast procedure so uh i think uh we'll go We'll click on the on the um, PC. We are not here for for updates. We are here to install um, um, the Windows 11. So let's click on the second one and the next. So click on next. So this particular place, uh, it right depend, depends on you. If you want to use a USB or uh, my, my this or other one, the second one. I Me, mean, I don't want to use my USB. I just want to use direct from my computer. So let's click on this ISO. So click on this and click next. So now you have to um, uh, download um, the file. So choose a location. So me, I'll be choosing desktop so, so I can locate my file easily. So click on next. So let's wait for a while. Okay. And Windows 10 is the actually downloading on my on my location. So I choose desktop. So uh, hopefully you remember the the uh, way you locate your, your file. So I choose desktop. So I don't know what you choose. So. So hopefully you can see at the background you can see that I already have a the download um, file. So we are done with download the let's um, close this particular page. So you just close it and okay. yes. So uh, this is where I put my file. So I don't know where you put your own. So you can just try your best to locate your your, your download file. So let's open it. So you click on the on this uh, mount, then let's go straight. Let me, let me expand this so you can see it clearly. Okay, let's go straight to settings. Click on settings. Let's close this and uh, now you see uh, Windows. So. Um, Let's go to next. Click next. Don't have much to much, much to do here. Okay. Um, so we think we should need to accept this. Let's go down to um, accept. Click on it. And um, so as it is, uh, this uh, um, 
this should be the, as far as far as I can go. And I uh, just want you to understand something. Uh, we are left with no options. There are three options, but uh, you can't click the first set option or the second option. So you are left only with the third option. Note, if you click next, you lose almost everything. As you can see, uh, I can't click anything. So you lose your files, everything. Hope you already have backed up um, um, your, pro no, your document on uh, your external hard drive. So this is as far as I can go because I am just okay with my, my Windows 11. So this is how you can uh, uh, go back to Windows 10. Just click next and follow the, the next procedure. So if I click next, meaning I, will, I have to delete my Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope this video would uh, sincerely help you in going back to Windows 10. And if it does, please give me a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to sincerely help my, my channel grow. Thanks for watching and stay blessed. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace out for now.